Hello everybody, I'm Stephen Kowalczyk, the cocktail chef. And today we're gonna make a, an interesting cocktail. It's a peanut butter and jelly drink, a, a peanut butter and jelly cocktail. So um, it's actually pretty simple. Utilizing some uh, important flavors that are gonna be required for this cocktail is gonna be the, um, the vodka, obviously our base spirit. We've got uh, razzmatazz, which is gonna be a raspberry, uh, a jelly flavor. We've got nuts, which is in this case gonna be our hazelnut. We have strawberry preserves to bolster that flavor of jelly. We've got a little bit of cream and of course, peanut butter. So let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is uh, start to add all of our spirits. So in this case, we're gonna do three quarters of an ounce of each of our spirits. So that's gonna be about a three count if you're just free pouring, one, two, three. So now we're gonna go into our razzmatazz or raspberry liqueur. You can also use a chambord or a cream de cassis if you have that available. We're gonna add three counts of that. Now we're gonna go into our hazelnut. Um, hazelnut is the nut of choice at this point. You can use almost any nut flavored liqueur and it's still gonna work just as well. You won't necessarily taste the hazelnut, but you'll taste the nuttiness to the drink, which is what we want. So we're gonna add three counts of that. All right, now we're gonna go into our secondary additives, which we're gonna add a little bit of cream. We're gonna add about three quarters of an ounce of cream as well. And a nice spoonful of preserves. Now I don't like to use jelly. I like to use preserves because preserves are strawberries. They're not processed. It's not a jelly, which is not going to have any real fruit in it. Um, maybe a little bit of real fruit, but in this case, this is going to work really well for us. So at that point, we're ready to shake. So now I'm going to add some ice and the ice is going to help break up the, um, strawberry preserves that are in there and everything else is gonna bind together after that. So let's get our tin, let's start to shake. And you're gonna wanna shake really well. We wanna break up that strawberry and it's okay to crack it open. Look inside, I like to smell of it. Oh, that's beautiful. That's perfect. We're gonna give a little bit more of a shake. And we're gonna get ready to strain. So, oh, you know what? Before we do that, we're gonna prepare our glass. And I know you're thinking, what's the peanut butter for? The peanut butter is to rim the glass a little bit. And we're just gonna scrape the glass rim into the peanut butter, just enough to put a little rim of this delicious creamy peanut butter all the way around. I prefer creamy obviously because it just works a little bit better when you're talking about a rim of a glass. So once we've done that, now we're ready to pour our cocktail. Every step is important. And look at the color and the texture of that. Beautiful. You can actually see the pieces of uh, strawberries in there, which is gonna be fantastic and a great compliment to this cocktail. Every sip that you take is gonna have a little bit of peanut butter and of course the jelly is gonna be included with that. And there you have it.